Also, in response to last night's decision, Michael Brown's family reiterated its desire for police officers to wear cameras on their uniforms. Tonight, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz explains whether that could happen around here. Check out this video. It's from a camera an NWTC law enforcement student wore during a drill. It's an example of what a situation might look like from the view of a police officer. Click it like that, and it's recording. NWTC has been having its law enforcement students wear cameras for 10 years. It's another piece of information, and nothing is perfect. But the closer you get to the actual officer's point of view, the more critical, the more applicable it will be. NWTC instructor Randy Revling is also an instructor for Taser, the company that makes these on-officer camera systems. Ever since the situations like Ferguson, you know, tasers being inundated with requests for the on-officer automated recording devices, whether it's to purchase them or at least to find out about them. The Green Bay Police Department recently formed a committee to look into the possibility of purchasing body cameras. There's considerations that are both legal and uh, financial. Green Bay Police says it first wants to develop a policy for when the cameras would be used. It is also looking at cost. The department has found an individual camera to cost between $500 and $1,500. Green Bay Police also is looking at where it would store all the video. It's definitely something that uh, we're not opposed to, uh, but people just should understand that it's not just an off-the-shelf product that you buy and you plug in and you start using the thing. It probably is getting to the point where officers ought to be wearing them just to protect the truth. While it's unclear whether a body camera would have prevented the situation in Ferguson, Reveling says he knows one thing for sure. It couldn't have hurt. As for Green Bay Police, they say they don't have a timeline on purchasing any cameras. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. There are departments in the area that are already using body cameras, Grand Shoot, for example. Nationally, a Justice Department study last year determined that more than three-quarters of agencies did not use the body cameras.